Good morning and welcome to City Line. With me, I have three really fun individuals who are here to talk about the Tacoma Musical Playhouse Family Theater. Um, please join me in welcoming back uh, this fabulous woman who looked very different when she was here last time. Uh, now you are in your street clothes, Linda Palazzo. You are the educational director of Tacoma Musical Playhouse and also the director of How I Became a Pirate. Welcome back. Thank you. It's nice last, to be back. Last time you were here, you were Morticia in the Adams Family. I was. It's different. <laughs> Quite, yeah, you look well. It's it's I mean, it's a little sed, it's a little sedated. That's what I would say, but it's okay. You brought with you this brightly colored young man mm -hmm. here, Mr. Kikoa Delay. Welcome, my dear. Thank you. Okay, let's get a look at the tennis shoes here. These tennis shoes yes. can stop traffic. <gasps> Very that, bright. Um, put, push your foot right back. Put, push them back toward you. There we go. <laughs> Quite fabulous. Well done, my dear. You are an actor at Tacoma Musical Playhouse yes. Family Theater. You're playing Jeremy Jacob. Great to have you here today. Thank you. And you brought with you this salty dog of a man, Nick Bray. <laughs> you are playing Pirate Captain Braid Beard. Welcome to City Line. Thank you. Give me an arg. Arg. Look at that. I mean, it's so good. And, he, and he, the lip curl was perfect, I know. too. He's naturally a, born to do it. Typecasting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's talk about first off. Give us a kind of a, a synopsis of what is How I Became a Pirate about. So, How I Became a Pirate is truly Jeremy Jacobs' childhood fantasies coming to life on oh. stage. So, he plays a 10 year old, very uh, with a very active imagination, and uh, I don't want to give too much away, but there's a lot of singing and dancing and references to soccer yes. and this, treasure. This, and This feels kind of like a Maurice Sendak, Where the Wild Things Are, only pirate version. Pirate version, <laughs> That's one yes. of my favorite books. That's yeah. why I bring it up. Oh, yeah. my gosh. So, okay, so... Nick and um, Keiko, well, let's talk about. I'm gonna, I want to. I want to hear about the mm. rehearsal process. I want to hear about what you're excited about. We're just gonna break it yeah. down, okay? So first off, what is something that has challenged both of you in the rehearsal process? And Keiko, why don't you go first on this? Uh, well, I think collectively, something that has challenged us as a cast is um, getting together as a cast because we, a lot of people are busy. Mm -hmm. We have like really busy lives. There's only eight people in this cast, but wow. just getting people together to do the show. And I think that's one thing that we've had to really work as a cast, mm -hmm. but this is like a lot of talent. So mm -hmm. it's come together. Eight people is tiny. That, that's yeah. like a family. What would you add to that? I, there's really nothing to add. It is that. It has yeah. been uh, conflicts and, and getting everybody together at the same time has really been challenging, but it's such a talented group that w with that, we're able to still manage to pull it off. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, I mean, because I, I was listening to a, a NPR segment about um, how great actors are, and the director said, well, but that's why we hire them, because okay. they're great. So eight people who aren't meeting as much as they need to be, but are uber talented, you're okay. Yes. So what's the best part, been of the rehearsal process, Keikoa? Honestly, I think it's just how much fun we get to have. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it's, especially with Linda, she's such a, like a fun director to have. So um, so just putting it together with so many little things that we get to have with other characters on the stage is really fun. I love that. What would you add, Nick? Uh, for me, it's the the cast being with the cast, the, the new family that you get to um, just, you know, get together and, and you only have a short amount of time to get to know each other, to work on this production and, and uh, that everybody is passionate about and and afterwards you still have that that connection um, and it's new new friends in your life new new family mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so st I'm gonna stay with you for a second here Nick so what is it like to play your character <laughs> <laughs> I, every person's dream come true I uh -huh. I love uh, being a pirate playing a pirate <laughs> it's it's funny that you said typecast because I have played a pirate before and I am going to be playing one this holiday season, but it's really just, I enjoy it. I, I love the, the attitude, the, the, you know, the, the way that you act as a pirate, the, 
the the way pirates talk and and it, it's just a lot of fun for me and and of the costumes are yes a lot yes. of fun so. oh my definite previous pre previous life experience going on it must have been must yeah. Have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm sure i buried a lot of treasure you probably did you just forgot where it was exactly yeah. and i didn't have a map drawn map. dude yeah. yeah the map okay so for you what what's been the best part about your character i what's think it like to play it just a lot of like forming and developing how to be a 10 year old Oh, I love, we, all of us need to always remember yes. what it's like to be a 10 year old, please. Yes. 10 is a very, very weird age to play because you still have to have that immaturity to you. Yes. But then you can't like throw tantrums because you're not like that young. You're old enough young. to know yeah. better. Yes, <laughs> 10 years old. I, uh, yeah, well, that is such a wise thing to say. Mm -hmm. 10 is hard. It is. It's very, I mean, I, I have a 26 year old and I remember what it was like when she was 10 and when, I remember when I was 10. Mm -hmm. It's like that tweener, bad, gray yeah. limbo where you're just young enough not to, but old enough to know better. Yeah. Well, well put. So what are all three of you most excited about people seeing? Let's start with you, Miss Director. The talent. Yeah. Um, as a director, I very much rely on their, um, natural abilities and their intuitiveness and the collaboration that they bring to the project. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm very much in support of, let's try this and see how it works. And these guys have been great about, let's try this and let's try that. And so just fantastic talent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what about you, Kiko? Um, I think I'm most excited for people to see the characters of all the pirates, because mm -hmm. every pirate has like their individual little things that they do mm -hmm. and it's been very fun to see them develop throughout the rehearsal process. They're doing something over here they haven't mm -hmm. done before, maybe a little paper, rock, scissors, I you're know. like, oh, that's a new little thing you've <laughs> Ooh, added. Yes. Well, and we have you a can parrot. That. Yeah. We have yeah. a parrot. So we have a parrot. We are excited about everybody yes. seeing the parrot. Yes. yes. So Nick, what are you <laughs> most excited about people seeing? I, I think it's it's the, the interaction of, of everybody and like he said, the different attitudes and personalities of, of all the characters. It's really they're not all just a, a you know a, a carbon copy pirate it's each one of them is very very different mm -hmm. yes. and and they're all great it's yeah. it's just a lot of fun so what do you what do you think parents and kids will like most about how I became a pirate Nick? I, I, I and we talked about this I think it's going to be the interaction um, there are times mm -hmm. where we break that fourth wall and interact with the audience I love that when that happens on television <laughs> I, you're I like oh my god you're be. talking to me yeah Yes, yeah. I think that's a lot of that. A lot of fun. They do a lot of it. Yeah, that's so much fun uh, because many times you get, and especially if you have a young audience, them them talking back to you. Yes, yes. because yeah. they 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 don't understand and they just want to, which is part of the ten year old magic. Yeah. And there are a couple of parts where we're trying to coax that out of them. Yeah, we encourage it. Yeah. What do you think, parents and kids will 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 like the most? Yeah, definitely the interaction because mm -hmm. we go out into the audience a couple of times Ooh, yeah. and just getting to interact with the kids and just. Seeing like a lot of like things that are not funny to us might be funny to them and then just like little things like that. It's really fun to see. Absolutely. So Linda, as I said, you were here before as Morticia from the Adams family. <laughs> so obviously you've got some acting chops, my dear. Um, how has that helped you direct this show? Uh, so my degree is direction and performance. Mm. Um, and so I've always tried to keep a balance between those two. Uh, every time I direct, I say, oh, I, I only want to direct. And then when I act, I only want to act. Um, I think they help me in both areas. Um, as far as being a director, like I said, I really um, listen to my actors and wow. trust that if they're telling me something isn't working, it's not working. I'm trying to force them to do something that isn't working. They have to live in that space and they have to own that, that space. And so um, I feel like I um, can bring that to the the directing table, um, just trusting my actors. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and making a collaborative effort and not a dictatorship. Yes. There are some things that are absolute dictatorships <laughs> with me, but um, for the most part, yeah, I yeah. think um, mm -hmm. just are... understanding where where they're at and what they have to do up there makes it easier to come from my side of the table to get them where they need to be. You are an actor's director, definitely. Absolutely. So. <laughs> so let's talk about this is the first production yes, of the TMP Family mm -hmm. Theater season, first one out of the gate. What else does the TMP Family Theater season have coming up? 
So we have three more shows this season. Uh, the next show is Stinky Kids. Oh, what a great name. Yeah, come to see it just for the title, right? Um, yeah. After that, we have a returning show. It's an original piece, and it's uh, Polka Dots. And it went up last year and had a great response, and has it's back by demand. And then we have Curious George. Oh, so super I love, excited! To I see love those. that and the man in the big yellow hat. Yes. <laughs> so what's coming up for Camp TMP for this season? Oh, camps are busy. So yeah, all, I mean, <laughs> we TMP have lots of camps. Equals camps. Yes, absolutely. So uh, right now, our honor camp is in rehearsal for Charlie Brown Christmas. That's yes. super excited. Excited to uh, see that come up. Um, I encourage people to get their tickets quickly. That's already selling. Um, we are offering a winter break camp. And we're doing Elf Junior, so really excited. So that happens right during the winter break for all the schools. So nice. we would love to have kids come out. And that's a great um, Christmas present from it parents is. and grandparents it to send is. their kids to camp. It is. Um, and it's such a great experience for the kids. And then we also have Saturday classes, homeschool, after school programs beginning up again, uh, mm -hmm. starting up again in January, and then our spring break camps. Yeah, see, so. I was going to say, you're going to mention spring break because mm -hmm. you guys are always so ahead of mm -hmm. the game. Well, and actually, just really quickly about that spring break, there was some concern about that with the Tacoma School District changing their spring break. Um, so I want to assure everyone in Tacoma School District that they are still welcome and we have it all worked out so that they can still attend camp and go to school. So. Of course you do. <laughs> Absolutely. We want everyone to come. That's all right. Thank you, all three of you, for being here today. Thank you. And for uh, you also thank you to your castmates, anybody who has touched this show, because there may only be eight of you in the cast, but there's much more behind the scenes that make it happen. So yeah. thank you very, very much. And uh, as always, once a month, you have a place on the big comfy couch here at uh, City Line. So um, break a leg. All right. Not literally. Not literally. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's time for Light Up Your Ride. Uh, when we come back, we'll talk with Hallie and Meredith about some new things that Downtown On The Go has in the hopper. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back.